Chapter 2 Brushes When you tap on the brush icon, you will switch to the paint mode. Your selected tool will appear blue. This counts for all the features in Procreate 4. Brush Tap on the brush icon to open all the brushes you can use in Procreate. On the left you see all the brush sets that are named accordingly. Each contains 8 brushes. You can scroll through the brush sets by swiping up and down. On the right you can select the brush you want to draw with. All of the brushes are available to smudge and erase with. Check out all the brush sets and default brushes. First tap on the brush set sketching and then on the brush 6B pencil. The brush is now active. You see that because it's blue. Tap outside the popover screen to start drawing. With the sliders on the left you can adjust the size and the opacity of your brush. When you use an Apple Pencil, you can also draw with the Apple Pencil tilted. Then you'll get a different kind of brush. Just play around with it. In the upper right corner you can choose the color you want to draw with. Rearrange brushes. You can also rearrange your brushes in each brush set. Tap and hold the brush and drag it in place. You can also drag the brushes into another brush set. Tap and hold the brush and drag it onto the brush set you want. If you drag a default Procreate brush into another brush set, it will be a duplicate of the brush. In this way, you keep the original brushes in place. Brush Actions When you swipe from right to left on the brush, it will open a menu of three options. Share, Duplicate and Reset. Sharing Brushes Tap on Share to share your brushes with colleagues and friends. Choose an option how you want to share your brush. Procreate will package your brush with the dot .brush extension. You can also save them to the iOS browser in the Procreate folder. This is a great way to keep all of your brushes stacked into one place and handy if you need to back up your custom brushes. Duplicate brushes. When you press on duplicate, you will duplicate the default brush. It is indicated with a brush stroke icon to the right of your brush. You can make adjustments to the brush and save it as your custom brush. Reset brushes. When you've made adjustments to a default Procreate brush, and if you want to go back to the original brush, tap on Reset. A new window will open with two buttons. Choose Reset to reset your brush. Tap on Cancel to cancel your action. Custom made brushes don't have the option Reset. Deleting brushes. You can only delete custom made brushes in Procreate. The default brushes cannot be deleted. Swipe from left to right to open up the menu. Tap on delete to delete your custom brush. Importing brushes. You can also import brushes into Procreate. You can find them in the forum of Procreate or import custom brushes you have made yourself. Tap on the plus sign in the upper right corner of the brushes menu and then tap on import in the upper right corner. The browser of your iPad opens. You can import from the iCloud Drive or other cloud services you have installed on your iPad. You can also import brushes from your iPad browser. Procreate has its own folder. It's handy to save all of your custom brushes there so you can always import them back into Procreate. Want to learn everything about Procreate 4.3? Then get the Procreate 4 video manual on Apple Books or Vimeo On Demand for only 4 dollars
learn all the features in Procreate 4.3 with over two hours of video tutorials. The links are in the description below this video.